gosh, you already know what's inside. Yes! Another power bank, and this time it's an anchor. We're going to see if the big boys come up this stuff. But uh, even if it don't, this one's not going back, no matter what. Because it has a special function on it that I need. And it's got enough gonads to uh, charge up a laptop, specifically a MacBook Pro. That one sucked. Anchor, world's number one, number one mobile charging brand, 140 watts, high speed input and output. Anchor 737, power bank, power core, 24K, compatible with Apple and Samsung devices, 24,000 milliamp hours, 140 watts max, with smart display. What's nice about this one is that it does the uh, 20 volts at 5 amps. So a MacBook needs 20 volts. So we're going to open this up. And of course we're going to test the milliamp hours to see uh, what it does. But my... Uh, goal is to see if it will play nice with my MacBook Pro. My 2012 MacBook Pro to be specific. And it comes in a very nice packaging. Just like a typical Apple packaging. You get a nice rigid box and all the little classic Films cover it all up. And if this is a, has a decent uh, milliamp hour, this is small enough to go inside a heated garment. So it looks like a brick. It is brick. We got uh, three, three ports on top for uh, USB-C, uh, USB-C 1 and USB-C 2. The top one is for your charging and output. And then the, uh, the second one on the bottom is for output only. And then you got your, uh, your uh, probably quick charge 3.0 with IQ. It has a film on it, people. Oh, ew. Really? Nasty. Then you get a uh, destruction manual. And a little satchel. We'll store it. It's pretty heavy on the bottom. It's in the bottom. Oh, and a cable. Dual USB C. Nice. So, let's see. How do you get the. Uh, oh, we got a button. We got a button on the side. What's the button do? Oh, we're at 25% charged. Fantastic. Oh, and then we have all the uh, info. You probably won't be able to see it. It's pretty dim. Gives you the uh, temperature in Celsius and in Fahrenheit. Gives you the battery health. 100%. Nice. And it gives you the uh, total input watt hours. Battery cycles.
total output watt hours and screen uses. Okay. So, to uh, charge uh, said MacBook Pro, said MacBook Pro, of course you need the uh, MagSafe to USB-C, and I just happen to have one right here that I bought weeks ago, because this thing took a couple of weeks to arrive when I ordered it. I ordered this back in, I would say, about three weeks ago, and it finally arrived. So now we're going to see if MacBook Pro and whatever brand cable this is. What's that? Oh, some more of that fancy film. Get off my plug. So we're going to see a MacBook cord and Anchor Power Brick is going to charge and play nice with my MacBook Pro. So it does know that there is a cable in it. It fired right up. So now we see if we get the green clean light or I know this is already charged, Amber. Green clean. The green clean light is on. Don't know if you can see it. Ah, it's a glare. But there's a green clean light. And it shows an output of about 12 watts. And 24% charge. Excellent. Let's see what the uh, MacBook has to say. Got this Mac. System report. Uh, power. Battery information. Yada, yada, yada. Cell revision, fully charged, yes, charging, no. Full charge capacity is 5.5, 5, 5.580 uh, milliamp hours, so 5,580 milliamp hours. State of charge is 100%, cycle count 802. I got 200. I got uh, 198 more to reach 1,000. Da -da -da -da. Battery power, blah blah blah. Char AC charger information connected, yes. Wattage, 85 watts. Charging, no, because it's fully charged. Excellent. That's what I like to hear. So like I said, this is a... Uh, 2012 and the uh, battery is at 66% health of course it gives you the service battery crap but it's all bullshit uh, and currently uh, if I were to take this off the uh, battery off the charger it it runs for a little under two hours so doesn't run as long as it did when it was new, but that's fine. The most important thing is is that it doesn't crash or shut down unexpectedly. So that's good. Because in 100, probably in 198 more cycles, I'll probably change the battery just for shits and giggles. Because by that time, the state of health should be about 50%. And then after that, like this, like I said, this thing's a 2012. And uh, it's 2022. So the battery is, you know, 10 years old now. Definitely time to change it. You know, and before it causes any kind of weird damage.
You know, because these uh, flat packs, you know, usually they stay okay until something happens to them. When they get too old, they get too stressed out, and then they start to puff. So the battery is like literally right here underneath the track pad. So if the cells start to puff, especially the two cells underneath the track pad, then it pops, it can damage the track pad and, and screw up the keyboard and do weird things on you and you don't want that to happen. So, well, we'll change it when it hits 1,000. And I do have a battery in here from uh, iFixit. So, uh, that'll be uh, good to go when that time comes. So, I do know that uh, my cord works. Because I got this from Amazon. I just looked up uh, MagSafe to USB-C and uh, see what I could come up with because I was looking for the cheapest thing. Because Anchor does carry one, but I didn't really want it. I wasn't really paying attention at the time. I was just looking for a USB-C to uh, MagSafe. So this says PD for 100 watts. So MagSafe is for 2012 MacBook Pros are 85 watts. So well within the margin. So that being said, time to uh, charge it up. So I'm going to use my uh, Anchor 65 watt jobber. Box. I don't know what it is. Of course, you already know what's in the description if I put it there. So I think this is a replacement. I think. Yep. This is a replacement. Yep. So, uh, when I left off last, I was going to uh, fully charge it and then discharge it to see what the milliamp hours was. So, uh, it didn't make it. <laughs> yes, it died. Uh, it just, uh, it crapped out. Uh, it went down to zero and uh, I tried to recharge it and nothing it would not charge so i i contacted anchor through uh through their website and i says yeah i just got one of your uh anchor series sevens the 140 watt high speed input output uh power bank and i says it's it's uh to me it's a brick so they wanted me to uh make them a video on, uh, on what happened so I made one for them and uh, I showed them that uh, I tried several different ways of trying to recharge it and it would not accept the charge I mean you would uh, I plugged in my uh, 65 watt job anchor to anchor I tried my uh, bull ports, my anchor uh, car charger, I tried power bank to power bank and to prove to them that it would not accept the charge no matter what. I mean it wouldn't even entertain any kind of charger. So I, they sent me a uh, prepaid shipping label and I scrounged up a box and shipped it back and then a couple of days later I I have a new one to uh, try out so now we're gonna unbox number two and it's brand new and it's apple like box so you get all the inch all the destructions and all the little charge cables that they give you. The USB-C to USB-C. This is their uh, 140 watt 
uh, rated cable. And then the, uh, the brick itself. So like I mentioned, I wanted one of these uh, power bricks uh, for a backup for my uh, for my uh, MacBook Pro. And this one's at 24% uh, charge. So for all your uh, plastic film freaks. Oh, there you go. Got that out of the way. So, I want to uh, charge this. So, we're going to uh, charge this in the, uh, off the anchor here because it'll go right into uh, 19 volts. at uh, 2.7 amps so I want to reset my little meter here and then uh, we'll go ahead and plug this in just like I did during testing you know and when I was going through the video stuff there I, I was showing the screen, the screen the best I could, uh, showing them the lack of the uh, the info uh, screen there. You know when you uh, click on this thing, that uh, you get a. Uh, A status uh, menu there in real time and uh, I proved to them that uh, that I was not getting this screen at all and uh, the weird thing is is that when I was doing the, the discharge for whatever reason I was drawing out of the USB A port and it was showing uh, the number one USB C port had a 0.1 watt output and yet there was there was nothing in it so some kind of logic problem probably the little microcontroller in there fucked up and after it after the battery died uh, it wouldn't uh, it wouldn't take a charge so the only bad thing is and my best guess is is that as long as that uh, microprocessor had some sort of power because it may uh, shut off the outputs, you know, when it gets to low voltage cutoff of the uh, of the sense circuit in there. But as long as there's still power in the batteries, it's it's probably always going to char uh, keep that um, microprocessor uh, running in there. So unfortunately, uh, there's there's no easy way to uh, take it apart and. Uh, you know, disconnect the power to the board to see if it would have reset with a with a brand new uh, power pow, actual real power cycle. So, since it's under warranty, I says, well, I'm not gonna fiddle with it and take it apart and stuff like that. So it's just easier just to ship it back. So now I will uh, charge this and see what this one is at. Uh, I did get enough power out. Of the uh, from the electronic load, it was uh, it wasn't the uh, 2400 milliamp hour, or even close to it. I think it was like 14,000 or something like that. When I did charge it before it died, uh, I think it did uh, come up to close to the. Uh, I think it was four amp hours. So there's six cells in there, so six times four is twenty-four thousand. So that's how they base their their number on. But your your actual real um, 
milliamp hour in real life actually using it is dry, uh, significantly uh, lower than the actual uh, capacity of the battery and that's just that's just the way it is but like I said I wasn't going to ship it back no matter what because I don't have an actual battery powered uh, power bank to charge a laptop you know especially specifically a Mac type uh, Mac Pro so no matter what the outcome was I wasn't going to keep it so Based on my MacBook Pro right now, it's about 5,500 milliamp hours. The uh, battery is uh, literally 10 years old in it, and it's about eh, about 66% health. So it only lasts about an hour and a half, so it's just a matter of time before I uh, replace it with a new one. And I believe the new ones are over, uh, when they're brand new, they're over uh, 8 hours anyway, so already lost uh you know 3000 milliamp hours so just a matter of time before it gets to that 50% or 1000 cycles it's so far it's right on par and then uh it'll be we'll hack that out of there and put a new one in so that's an update for this uh I will charge this and discharge this through the electronic loan and uh, we'll get a little number, and then uh, I'll be right back in the uh, next installment. So stand by. So we are back with our Anchor Series 7 737 uh, power bank. And, uh, of course, you've already heard about the little uh, uh, adventure I went through. So now it's for the uh, official tests. So I've gone, I charged it. I discharged it, and now it's just finished charging. And the finished, finished, finished charge rate is uh, four thousand five hundred and fifty-four milliamp hours. So uh, that's uh, each particular uh, cells. There is six cells, so, you know, 45, uh, uh, 45, 54. Get the uh, calculator out here. Let's see, 45, 54 times six. So, your so-called 24,000 milliamp uh, power bank is actually currently brand new. It's a 27,000 milliamp uh, power bank. But, but, yes, but. Unfortunately, when you use it, you're not going to get 24,000 or 27,000 milliamp hour. Your real life usage is going to be uh, 14,230 milliamp hours. So you get a 14 amp hour power bank. So that's the only bad thing about um, these power banks is they sell them based on the battery capacity. But your real life usage, you're not going to get it. So you're, you, you know, it's being advertised as a 24,000 milliamp hour power bank, but in reality, it's only a 14 amp hour uh, power bank. I wish, I wish. All these companies across the board would just sell them as, you know, our, an everyday person would use them. You buy it, you charge it, you charge up, you know, whatever amount of times. And you're like, hmm, if I had something that was, uh, let's say, a, a one 1,000 milliamp hour, I should be able to charge it up 24 times. Or in this case... 27 times. Well, guess what? You're not. It's not going to happen. You're only going to charge it up 14 times. So that's the uh, that's the result of the uh, Anchor 737 power bank. As I said, I'm not uh, going to uh, discard it because it's currently uh, it's pretty much the only available battery powered power bank that can uh, charge a uh, MacBook Pro through its uh, 
from USB-C to uh, uh, the uh, MagSafe. So it's 140 watts, and my particular MacBook is uh, when it's charging that full bore is 85 watts. So more than enough capacity for the uh, for the charging. And like I said, I need it for a backup because you never know because backup backups are good. So this one comes with a little bag. And, uh, of course, uh, not included is the USB-C to uh, MagSafe. You have to buy that separately. But it does come with dual uh, USB-C if your uh, MacBook Pro is USB-C powered. Mine is not. So we will really, uh, throw in both them cables in the bottom of the bag. And then uh, we'll throw our little uh, anchor. Thanks to Anchor for... Uh, backing your products and uh, replacing the, the defective one for whatever reason why it decided to go haywire and uh, just not charge anymore even though it was brand new but they stepped, at the, stepped up to the plate and replaced their products so that's a good thing and with that that's the end of this video so thanks for watching we'll see you on the next one bye bye